We have two folks on the line right now. Listen, everybody. Don't throw it all away with this one, okay? Now, mm. if you're sincere, if I believe that you are sincere in your love for Dexter Loomis, you're all right. That's it, okay? I got to believe you, though. No gimmicks, all right? That's the only way that you're allowed to call here today. It's the only, it's the Dexter Loomis hotline. The number is 844-913-2727. 844-913-2727. That is only if you are a fan of Dexter Loomis, legitimately. If I don't believe you, you're blocked forever because I don't know how to unblock people. So it's one and done. All right. So we're going to go to the phones here in just a moment. You're welcome to text about whatever you want. If you want to text about whatever, WWE not giving people bonuses, 425-780-7566. Brian at WrestlingObserver.com, at Brian Alvarez on Twitter. We'll go over more news later on as well. But I want to hear this fella here. His name is Jay, and he apparently claims that he is a big fan of the creep from the creep farm. Yes, Jay. Hey, this is Jay from Kansas City. How you doing, Brian? Not too bad. Um, basically, um, basically, what I think from the Destiny Luther, like storyline, which I think is pretty creative, is like think of it like Batman. He's like a cape crusader who's trying to um get rid of the, all the evil doers without being seen or just being and doing it behind the scenes. So at the end, it's like Johnny Gargoyle is like his Joker. When he gets the championship for him, it's like he's taking care of NXT, but he's doing it in a quiet, subtle way. That's how I, I take the Dexter Newman character. But you enjoy this. You're you're a fan of this this fella. I I enjoy it. Like when the when he was under the ring he pulled um this guy to the under the ring and Johnny Girl came in looking for him. I I found it entertaining. Okay. There's certain things that they're doing is entertaining with him and I, I get what they're trying to do is like okay, this guy's a bad guy He's just going to pop up, take care of this bad guy, and disappear. Not, he's not going to look for the glory. He's not going to look for chance. He just get rid of this guy and go on my way. All right. Well, hey, listen, I want to thank you very much for the call. I, I, I believe that guy. I believe old Jay. Yeah. I mean, they exist. I'm not saying they don't. I just don't get it. He did, well, get, he did get rid of Austin last night. He ethered this dude. Put a, put a, he put a thing. Yeah. On his face, Ether, baby. Yeah, chloroform. a cloth. Old school. Which, by the way, right I mean that should there. be illegal. I mean, you could kill a guy. No, no, it's in wrestling canon. The uh, that that's okay. Sometimes Tell I feel out. that among people what? that don't like Dexter Loomis, that I'm the only person that actually likes Sam Shaw. Like he had a match. I forget who it was with, but he just wrestled. And James there, Storm. there was no, well, not an impact, but it was on, on NXT a little while ago. But, oh. I mean, he wrestled, I think it was with uh, Grimes, actually, where yeah. they just did a match, and there was no going under the ring. There was no creepiness. It was just like they had a wrestling match, and apparently I was the only person on the planet that liked it. Dave thought it sucked. Vinny thought it sucked. Nah. But I, I don't mind the themselves. guy. I just hate the gimmick. I think it sucks. Because they can't help themselves. He's got to be the boogeyman. He can't be just this kind of icy, crazy dude. You know, they have to take it to the next step where he's a cartoon. Literally a cartoon. He can draw himself. And that's the deal. And I, I, I'm i not anti-Dexter Loomis. I'm anti-Dexter Loomis in the North American title chase. I probably be we would be anti-him in any title chase without a well-built-up storyline. But even if it is a well-built-up storyline, he's such a cartoon. It's one of my problems with Gargano, where when he went heel, he went so over to the other side, and he became, to me, I don't want to say a joke, because that's not it, but the character is 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 a joke. I mean, it's been played up to be a joke. He's been a coward. He's been a goofball. He argues with his wife. They the the TV all the the nonsense they've done with him. It, it to me, it's too cartoony. And that's the biggest problem with Dexter Loomis. Instead of just making him trying to develop a story behind him where people can get into this dude who's not going to cut promos. You know, it can be done. Kane, the under... I mean, there's ways to do it where you have these types of, of people that are not cutting their own promos and you need to build up a story behind them to get people invested. 
I don't know if they did that with him. I don't think they've done that with him. But to me, it's he gives me those boogeyman feels where it's like, okay, you're going to see him do something wacky or something like that, but I don't really want to see this guy wrestle. Well, let's go to Brooklyn. You're on the air. What's going on? I really hope I don't get banned for this, but this is Adam in New York. Well, I hope you don't get uh, banned too, Brian. I hope, I hope you got a good uh, good call here, buddy. Let's hear it. Well, well, we're just we're just trying to basically make sense of Dexter Loomis's character in existence, not why he's awesome, right? Just want to clarify that. No, 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 right? no, 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 no. I will not ban you yet, but it's I only want people to call who are big fans of Dexter Loomis and appreciate him in this North American title program. If that's not you, I will allow a- you to go and not be banned. Go in peace. I am a fan of I'm a fan of the potential that he can be. This particular kill switch type character. You know how when T V shows they have a storyline and a character or a character that's not going anywhere and they need to be killed off? That's the only, that's the great thing that Dexter Loomis can do. You know, he's always con- a constant threat to kidnap and kill off a character off screen. So if they disappear without any warning or reason, they can just say, "Oh, the Loomis did it." You know, <laughs> to a, me, that's the he's only a way serial we can killer? Dexter Loomis. Uh, I mean, that's his gimmick, yeah, yeah, I he, guess. He's but like, been a serial killer, right? Well, are there no so consequences in show. NXT? I mean, we know that because people get kidnapped all the time and no one cares. Right. So well, just yeah, have him be a constant threat to the wrestler's <laughs> livelihood. You know, and uh, that's that's how they'll you know get him over. And I think that that's the direction that they can potentially get him over with all the fans. Like you know, they can get be- they can get behind Dexter Loomis over over some of these other wrestlers that they don't like, or if they have a storyline that's not going anywhere that they're not fans of, then they could cheer for Loomis to do something about that role. All right, well, that's re- my uh, you know. All right, I want to thank you very much for the call. I'll I'll let you. <laughs> I'll I'll. Hey, listen. If if every time somebody was going to be called up to the main roster, they were murdered by Dexter Loomis, I mean that'd be a storyline, all right. That's a send off for sure. Yeah, it's, Rio uh, was Rio was killed. And... But remember, these are supposed to be spin offs. You know, when guys go up and, and gals go up to the main roster, they're not supposed to be brand new shows for these people. You can't be killing them and putting them up on the main roster. We have a case like Finn Balor. Does he then you know? resurrect and come back to life when he comes back down to nxt how does that work but i'll say this dexter loomis seems far more like a character that vince and bruce pritchard and everybody else could have a lot more fun with and do a lot more with on the main roster whether that would be good or not i don't know no it would not but be that's good, another Mike. thing <laughs> but that's, that's not a good thing. rhetorical question there you but know the answer a, but but that's another thing is it stands out a lot more in nxt when you have this especially at times where nxt is down which nxt unfortunately is down right now you know the buzz behind it is down some of them the, just their angles and the stories everything is in a big malaise right now in my opinion which is not helping this deal with dexter loomis it makes it stand out a lot more and it makes all goofiness and bad things stand out a lot more sometimes that can be good in the case of good goofiness as in cameron grimes but uh, when things are not humming on all cylinders, like the Dexter Loomis thing with Johnny Gargano, it stands out a little bit more. It was Loomis and Timothy Thatcher, the match I'm thinking about. Well, that's that would there be a good go. reason why it ended up being a damn good wrestling match then. Okay, so listen, this guy is, this guy is always on the edge anyway, but he's going to try this here. This may be the last you hear from Honolulu. This better be good, buddy. You're on the air. Uh, all right. Don't screw this up, buddy. Hold on a second. I'm muting you. Oh, crunchy. I'm giving you one more chance, buddy. You sure you want to do this? You're up. Um. Okay. Dexter Loomis is a breakout star. He has great in-ring potential. He has, like, the fast-paced stuff. He can do some good stuff. He's really good, right? And, like, he's getting a lot of praise, like, road dog and stuff. And his, road like, dog. mysterious gimmick thing. His mysterious gimmick thing where he doesn't talk, it's very eerie. I really like that. It's very good stuff. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm a good fan of Dexter Loomis. Brian. Are you telling me the truth, Honolulu? Yes. Actually, I can see that. I like yeah. Dexter Loomis. I can right. absolutely believe that. All right. All right. What time is it in Honolulu well, Thank you very right much for the call. It's about 10 in the morning, right? So, there was something about the way that he said he liked Dexter Loomis where I actually believed the guy. I don't know why. Am I naive? No, he's 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 kind of half cocked. That's why I wanted to ask you. It's ten o'clock in the morning. You think it's just bloody Marys as soon as Crunchy wakes up? It's ten thirty-five. I'm sure he's sober. Well, there you go, everybody. I mean, everybody has a fan sometime. Is that the way the song goes? Anyway, everybody needs somebody sometime. Something like right? that. Yeah. Uh, this person says, "Did Dexter Loomis really use chloroform to abduct Austin Theory? Isn't that a crime in Florida? Or are those oh, rules come relaxed? On. Well, in dude, Florida of all people, I was going to say." If it was going to be legal anywhere, it may be in Florida, actually. 
Here's the thing with Sleep not aid. only Florida, but NXT, which is in Florida. Like, there ain't no rules. Did you guys see what they did to, to Boa and Zia Lee? I mean, right. they were tortured. They were literally tortured for weeks on end. They, these, these Mexicans kept getting abducted and nobody cared at all, I might add. I was like the only one because I am a Mexican. Half. Dude, it was sad. Now chloroform, abductions here. I mean, clearly anything goes in the Sunshine State, as we have learned over the last year or so. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.